It's time for Rockboard High School Basketball here on WZOT. And now, all of the action. The Rockmart High School Yellow Jackets, the boys' team, are taking on the Fertile Prep Falcons out of Ackworth as uh, Rockmart comes in 5-5. Five and five. And tough loss last night to Kings Academy, 60-51. to 51. But uh, one of the things that uh, Coach wanted to do – hold on just a moment. Well, as Jeff was saying, we played a, a good – a good team last night out of Kings Academy, and uh, they were a very well shooting team, and we, we just never could close the gap. I think we get within five, six points and and just couldn't couldn't close the gap on them. So um, they're about to play right now the Fertile Prep School from Ackworth, and uh, Jeff is taking care of some scheduling. And All right. That was a Central Gwinnett girls who defeated East Paulding in the first game here. They just wanted to know who's, who they play. Uh, there is a bracket outside on the wall. Yep. But, uh, so but you look official sitting there there on the stage. That's right. So. That's right. So I will uh, make a quick text to Mr. Torline and see uh, who won over there. So, yeah, they're using all three facilities, yes. the Rockmart High School, the Rockmart yep. Middle School, and the uh, Rec Center, or the Old High School, as, as most of us like to call it. That's so, right. So Got action all over town this evening. Oh, yeah. So we got that had three games going on at 4 o'clock, got three games going on right now. And uh, over in our gym, you had uh, at 4 o'clock, we had Hiram and Sonorville. Look. And uh, so we had Hiram and Sonorville, and then – uh, going on right now is East Paulding and Cherokee in the boys' game. So we'll get those updates, and we'll probably have those updates whenever we get over to the high school gym for the girls' game right after this. So, uh, But we were talking about getting ready to go here. We're at uh, about under four and a half minutes. Uh, Rockmark comes in five and five. Tough loss last night to Kings Academy. Got down big, cut it to four, and then just really Yeah, that's what I was saying while you were talking to, to the other team there that you know, we'd get within five or six a couple of different times, and we just never could close that gap. And uh, Fertile Prep, the Falcons, they are a GISA. That's an independent school. They're in Region 1 of the AA of that. They're in first place in their Region 5-0, and oh, but they're 6-6 six and six on the year. They come in averaging 67.5 points, giving up 55. Uh, they played North Paulding last night and uh, went down 62-54. So uh, a tough game there. Uh, North Paulding, a 7A school to go along with Pope, Woodstock, and Lassiter, all 7A schools that they've lost to, but they've lost closely, and then they lost in overtime to North Carr Christian, 71-69. So uh, a very good team, and we found out last year a few international players on there, uh, and luckily they give us a roster that has the phonetic spelling of some of them that are a little bit, yeah. a little bit tougher to, to read. So uh, we've got a. It looks like Tua OK, but it's actually Tua OK. So, uh, but some names on here familiar from when we played them last year. So, uh, getting ready to go. Got a three-man officiating crew once again, and the Fertile Prep is uh, led by David Whitley. He is the uh, the head coach along with Dave Weiss and Ty Whitley. So they are, they're led by Mo Hanafi, Yasso Muhammad, and Bryce Clark are their top three. And uh, Mo Hanafi, I think he's the, the point guard that last year in the championship game against Cherokee, uh, the head coach uh, sat him down the fourth quarter because uh, he didn't like his attitude on the floor or his attitude towards him and sat him down the whole fourth quarter, and they ended up uh, losing that game to uh, Cherokee County. But – uh, also teaching that young man a lesson as well. That, uh, we're going to play the game properly. And I had a chance to talk to uh, Coach Whitley last year. I haven't had a chance today as we've been up here and uh, only having two games here at the middle school. A very nice nice guy, uh, very complimentary of our campus. He could not believe we're just a double-A school, and they're, they're over in Ackworth, so they're not far off. Yeah, we're actually a three-A school now. <laughs> yeah, well, we're still double-A right now. Still double-A right yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah, the new school calendar. Yeah, that's right. When uh, when baseball and track and all that's over, then we'll we'll switch to AAA. So, 
but the Jackets come in five and five. Of course, they're three and one in region play, tied for first at the top with uh, actually Chatugas at the top, and then you got us and Kusa and Model all in there with one loss. So going to be tough in region, but three tough games here. And you know, Coach Calhoun didn't do uh, you know didn't do himself uh, any any favors with who he's playing. Starting out with Kings Academy and now Fertal Prep. And if they win, uh, if they win, they will play at 2.30 tomorrow at the high school. If they lose, it's at 11.30. And this just in, the Cedartown girls defeated Bremen. So Central Gwinnett will be playing Bremen at 1 o'clock tomorrow in the consolation bracket final. So we'll make sure we get get that to Jai and uh, she can relay that information to Central Gwinnett. Are you announcing the? Yeah, I will. And just we get there. Do you have their starters? If you'll run down there to Sissy, if you'll run down there to Sissy, and get that. So, all right, uh, Brian, I'm gonna throw it back to you for about a two minute break. I'm gonna announce the starters here, and we're gonna get ready to go. So we'll no national anthem stuff like that. We're gonna do starters and then ready to roll. So Brian, back to you for two minutes, and then we'll be back. Lewis Motor Company is the oldest car dealership in Rockmart. They have been serving Rockmart and the Polk County area for 56 years, providing quality used cars and great customer service before, during, and after the sale. Lewis Motor Company is proud to offer guaranteed credit approval while you wait. Give them a call today at 770-684-6694 or stop by and see our staff at Lewis Motor Company, 218 South Piedmont Avenue in Rockmart. At Century Bank of Georgia's Rockmart office, you'll find the reassuring blend of responsive personal service with a wide array of accounts, technologies, loans, and more. And you'll find each delivered by a bank professional whose goal is to exceed your expectations of what a bank can be. We invite you to discover all we are today. Your local choice for community banking. Go Jackets. Century Bank of Georgia. Rockmart. We want to be your bank. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Who has time for laundry? R&W's Laundry, the cleanest laundromat in Northwest Georgia, is a full service, seven days a week laundromat with state-of-the-art washers and dryers. Don't want to wash? Let our friendly staff do it for you. Ball teams, churches, restaurants, and even wedding services are welcome to come to R&W's Laundry. Proud sponsor of Jacket Basketball, located at 804 West Elm Street, Rockmart, and Go Jackets. Are you aware that untreated wood is highly susceptible to termite damage? Are you bothered by other pesky insects like bed bugs, ants, roaches, wasps, and hornets? Call Harrelson Termite and Pest Control for an inspection. They have the experience to handle your pest control needs. Call Harrelson Termite and Pest Control today to schedule an appointment. Now back to the action of Rockmart High School Basketball here on WZOT. All right, here we are, Chris Wolf, Jeff Sharp. Uh, Jeff's working on some scoreboard issues right now. The team is at center court waiting for tip-off. we got Jakari Clark there in the center for uh, Rockmart, and uh, number 34, Bryce Clark, will be uh, tip-off for Fertile Prep. So it looks like our starters are Juke Boozer, as he's back tonight, uh, Jakari Clark, Tyler Rowland, Ty Floyd and Sherman Davis for Rockmark for Fertile Prep. It's going to be Toy Emery, Yasu Muhammad, Jaime Ortega, Daniel Mendez, and Jay Wayne. So Jeff's still working on the clock here, trying to get the possession arrow moved. Looks like they're going to use cones instead of the possession arrow. So about ready for tip-off. The refs explaining to the teams that we're going to use the cone manual method for <laughs> possession arrow there today. So I guess it froze up on you, Jeff. Well, uh, it's got a short inside of it. and Coach Luke and I did surgery on it about two weeks ago and had it going. And uh, So I don't know what happened today. but I ran, a quick, I ran a quick rundown while they were on the court. So there we go. We All right. Forego the announcement and there we starting go. off. All right, Jakari Clark and uh, Bryce Clark tip it off, and Bryce wins it. Fertile Prep has it as they're moving left to right. 
playing at the middle school right now and talked to Ty Floyd. He was like, I haven't played here in a while. So, I guess that's uh, probably for all of them. Maybe Jakari was the last one to play here. That's right. So, and that's number 11, Muhammad, Yasu Muhammad, lays it in. And for the Falcons lead two to nothing here early. So, a little bit quieter here at the middle school than it is at the high school. Clark has it, drives down the lane, a little floater off the back iron, no good. Fights for it. Sherman Davis comes up with a loose ball, misses. And then uh, Mo Hanafy picks up the rebound, Get, brings it down quickly, gives it up to Muhammad, back to Hanafy, over to Muhammad on the right side. Gets it inside to Clark, Bryce Clark. Kicks it out to Goddich, inside to Clark. Goddich, top of the key, drives in. Gives it up to uh, Emery, and he misses the shot. Rebounded by Boozer. Well, this per top prep team surely moves the ball well, don't they? Yes, they do. Ty Floyd, three ball on the way. is good. Three to two, Jack is lead. All right. Emery brings it down, gets it inside to Goddich. Three ball on the way by Muhammad, no good. And then Goddich knocks it out of bounds. Rob Mart has it. I tell you, Furcott definitely has the height advantage on us today. They've got uh, several guys over six foot, but I think we're going to beat them in the speed category. No doubt. Tyler Rowland on the floor. Gives it up to Jakari Clark on the right wing. Rob Mart moving right to left. Boozer, Duke Boozer in the game today. D3 by Boozer off the front iron. No good. A little bit way too far out. Oh, Sherman Davis with the follow. And good job by Chikari Clark tipping it around, keeping it alive. Keeping it alive, and Sherman was able to get a good position and jump up and put that one back in. And if he has it, skip pass all the way over to Muhammad. Gives it up to Emery, drives down the lane. Misses the shot, and then that's going to be a foul on Emory as he went over the back of Davis trying to get the rebound. Jackets lead 5-2, 537 to go first quarter. Yeah, Sherman's good about getting his position up under the basket, so they're really going to struggle with trying to keep him off the ball tonight. Tyler Rowland has it top of the key. Gives it to Davis. He dribbles back around, gives it up to Boozer. Boozer, first off rip. Falcons in a man-to-man. Boozer loses the ball. As Goddard steals it, Floyd almost stole it back. Hanafi brings it down, gives it up to Muhammad. He gets it to Goddard down in the corner. Bryce Clark, 15-footer is good. Five to four. Jackets lead. So, Mr. and Mrs. Teams coming in. The crowd's starting to file in. I think they forgot the game was at the middle school today. <laughs> Boozer kicks it and moves Goes off his foot out of bounds. That's another turnover. So some of the girls coming in, they're going. They're not going to be able to stay long. They got a game at seven o'clock over at the high school. Yep, there's a couple of them just strolled in. And parking lot school over at the high school, so it looked like a good crowd over there as I came through the parking lot. That's good. Falcons have it. Emory goes right down and a little touch pass inside the Goddage 23, and he scores, and the Falcons take a 6-5 lead. So we're going to, as soon as this game's over, we're going to get to the high school as soon as we can to bring you the girls' game right after this. Jakari Clark drives in on Muhammad, and he gets fouled. And they're going to say it should be two shots. Yeah. Clark was shooting. Yeah, he's, he's on the line. I was, I was confused there for a second. Well, she, she gave it on the baseline, and uh, everybody went to the line. So Jakari's going to be at the – uh, at the line, shooting two RW laundry free throws that he makes the first. Free up your time by taking advantage of RW's wash and pole service in our clean, well-kept laundry, 804 West Elm Street. Second shot by Clark is no good. Rebounded by the Falcons as Emory brings it across half court. Brought Martin in a 2-3 zone here. Usually they play man. They're in a zone right now. It's six to six, almost halfway through the first quarter, and that's going to be a foul on Boozer 
as Muhammad did a little spin move on him, and Boozer reached in, knocked the ball away, but got a little too much on him. So two fouls. I like the scoreboard over here better than uh, that. They keep up with the fouls. Yeah. High school's been trying to get one, but Muhammad with a three, no good. Boozer with a rebound, brings it down the floor quickly, goes baseline all the way out to Ty Floyd, down in the corner to Clark. Back to Floyd on the left wing. He's guarded by Hanafi. Gives it up to Clark. Guarded by Muhammad. Clark goes around Muhammad, and Emery picks him up. He gets stuck, picks up his dribble, sends it back out near half court to Boozer. Boozer fakes a bath. David with a Davis with a uh, pick, and he rolls to the basket. Boozer gives it to Davis, and he just loses the handle out of bounds. Yeah, I thought he was going to take that one up, and if nothing else, draw the foul, but he just lost the ball. They get it inside to Goddich again. He missed the shot. And rolling off and running with a long rebound, and he takes it in. His shot's blocked from behind by Hannafy. Boozer picks up the loose ball, puts up a shot, but gets fouled. That foul's going to be on Bertolt Prep, number 20, Mo Hannafy. Boozer's going to be at the line shooting two RW laundry free throws. Yeah, still tied up 6-6 six, six here with just over three minutes left. So quick moving game. That's what we want to see. Loser, first free throw is good. That RW Laundry free throw. They got large commercial washers and dryers down there. What I hear. Good for those companies. Second shot is up short. Rebounded by Goddich. 7-6, to six, Jackets lead. Left side, right side. Oh, nice oh, steal by Boozer. Boozer was still gives it up to Clark. Clark loses the handle, but luckily it hits off the glass and goes in. Looked like he wanted to dunk I it. I thought in. he thought about it, and I think he felt somebody over his back thought better of it. So good job right there by Clark. Yeah, it looked like it kind of slipped out of his hand, but it slipped right onto the uh, square on the backboard and went in. Nine to six, Jack is lead. Emory with it, gives it to Hanfi. Skip pass all the way out to Muhammad. He tries to drive in. Boozer cuts him off on the baseline. They try to get it in, get it down on the baseline to Goddard. Gives it to Emory. He drives right down the lane. A little floater, no good. Rebound by Floyd. He gives it to Boozer. Boozer and Falcons get down the get back on defense. Yeah, I'm ready to see Ty get some shots here. He was pretty hot. And there goes one. There's hmm. one short off the front iron. Goes out of bounds. Yeah, he had a pretty good hand last night, so yeah, I think hopefully he can dial it back in. Well, he, he made one earlier, but that, that was a little bit too far out. Emory has it, top of the key. Still a 2-3 zone by the Jackets. This worked pretty good. They want to try and limit that inside game of the Falcons. As they got some big boys inside. Hanafi has it all the way over to Emory. Gets it down low to Mohammed. 10-foot jumper is good. 9-8. to eight. Jackets lead. 145 to go first quarter. Boozer's going to walk the ball up the floor. Boozer comes to the left. Gives it up to Floyd. He stops. Top of the key. Three ball on the way. Oh, in and out. No good. Rebound by Clark. And he gives it up to Emory. Feeds Bahamut inside, and he scores, and Falcons with a 10-9 lead now. Boozer brings it down. One ten to go. Falcons in a man-to-man. Boozer beats his man down, and he gets fouled. As Goddard blocks the shot, but I think Goddard is also going to pick up the foul. That's the fourth team foul on Fertile Prep. Boozer's going to go to the line shooting two RW laundry free throws. Who was that one on, Jeff? 23. 23. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. So, two subs for the Falcons waiting to come in. <laughs> Boozer misses that first free throw as Ty Craig and Jamie Ortega come in. So, names for Fertile Prep are much easier than they were last year. Yeah. <laughs> but the good thing is... Uh, the coach for Fertile Prep, he brings a roster that if you're not sure how to say it, it tells you how. It gives you the phonetic spelling of it. 
Boozer's second shot rattles around and goes down. We're tied at 10, 106 to go first quarter. Emery brings the ball down for the Falcons. Gives it up to Muhammad on the left side. Back to Emery. Trying, they're, they're looking to get it inside, but that 2-3 zone, as they got it in to Goddard, back out to Ortega, back to Emory, then a little touch pass down low to that's number one, Ty Craig. That's number one, yep. So he he got it, and uh, he just jumped up, and uh, that little touch pass was right at the rim. He just pushed it right in. 12-10, Falcon. Boozer with the ball, looking to make a move on his man. Floyd sets a pick. Gives it to Davis. Top gives it to Tyler Rowland. Three, three ball, no good. Long rebound to Davis. He comes in, no good. Too hard off the back iron. Rebounded by Ortega. It'll be 10 seconds. One shot for the Falcons. Emory has it, top of the key. Over to Muhammad. Fakes a shot, drives in. Little floater, no good. Davis with a rebound. 12-10 is our score at the end of the first quarter. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Tilly's Home Furnishings invites you to stop by their showroom. It is filled with furniture lines like Ashley, United, Lane, Simmons. With new merchandise arriving every day, they have prepaid cell phones, total wireless and page plus, new and used appliances, mattress sets, living room furniture, dinette sets, U-Haul rentals. Come by and see Randall for the best deals in propane. And Stanley, he don't like standing around. So make sure you keep him busy. And be sure to let Scooter fix you up with furniture and appliance deals. They have mattress specials every week. Tilly's Home Furnishings, located at 966 here on the highway, Rock Mart. We are open Monday and Tuesday from 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. Wednesday, 8 a.m. till 12 p.m. Thursday and Friday from 8 a.m. till 5.30 p.m. Saturdays, 8 a.m. till 1.30 p.m. Close on Sundays. Give them a call, 770-684-5314. Or visit them on their new Facebook page, Tilly's Home Furnishings. Now back to the action of Rockmart High School basketball here on WZOT. All right, we're back at Rockmart Middle School as the Jackets trail the Falcons of first off prep 12-10. Rockmart gets the ball to open up the second quarter. Floyd throws it in the backcourt to Boozer. So updating the girls' bracket as Central Gwinnett defeated East Paulding. And Cedartown defeated Bremen over at the uh, rec gym, the old high school. So Central Gwinnett and Cedartown will play at 1 o'clock. Bremen and East Paulding play at 10. Ball gets knocked away from Davis into the backcourt. Boozer's going to pick up a foul as he waited on, uh, look like that's 22. Ortega slid and got the ball. Well, and Boozer I don't think he couldn't touch it because he had been over and back, yeah, so he had to back. wait on Fertile to, to touch it, and he tried to get the jump ball and picked up the foul. Get it. And if he gets it into Mohammed all the way across to uh, Ortega, he gets it inside to Craig, back to Ortega, back to uh, Mohammed, top of the key. Better keep eye on number one. Yeah, they're working. They're, they want to get that thing down low. Sherman's got to look behind him. They get it down baseline, 12-footer short, rebounded by Floyd. Then he loses it as Ortega or Goddard's got a hand on it, and uh, Ty just lost it out of bounds. Hanafy gets it in to Ortega. Back to Hanafy. Over to Mohammed, fakes a shot. Tyler Rowland with a steal, picks it up, gets it to Boozer. And they're off and running, coming down the floor quickly. He's Boozer right in. down the lane, and no good. Gets his own rebound, puts it up. No good, but he gets fouled. And that's on number 20, Mo Hanafy. And uh, did you see Boozer? Hit the Jets when he hit half Yeah, court. when he saw that opening, he took off like a running back who just, who the lineman just split the middle. Wow. I think it's going to be there all night. He's just got to make those shots. And he's at the line shooting two RW Laundry free throws. He misses the first one. He was 50% from the free, free throw <laughs> line. Eric Ingram comes in as Yasso Muhammad goes out. 
second shot is up no good off the back iron. Rebounded by Hannafee. Gets it ahead to Ingram quickly. And they set up their offense. Gets it to Hannafee over to Ortega. And they missed the inside. Of, yeah, Coach. Uh, yeah, Craig was wide open. There's a, They tried to get it to him that time. Boozer was a steal. Good hands by Boozer. Got it just on him. Bring him all the way down the floor. Boozer gets it across half court. Gets it to Floyd on the left side. Floyd has Hannafee on it. That's going to be a foul on Mo Hannafee. That's his second personal 16 foul for Fertile Prep. And we'll be in the bonus. 621 to go second quarter. we got to hit those free throws. And that's Hannafee's third. And Hannafee doing a little talking right there to the official. The official was like, whoa, 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 whoa. we're not going to do that. Get it into Boozer in the backcourt. He gives it up to Clark. Jakari Clark, wide open, top of the key. His man was way off of him. He drives around, dish to Davis, lays it in, and we're tied at 12. Good try by Jakari Clark. Yeah, nice feed right there to Davis under the basket. And if he brings it down, gives it up to Ortega, and Ortega gets to offer a traveling violation. So turnover by the Falcons. 5.56 to go, second quarter. We're in the bonus, the remainder of the quarter. We've only committed two fouls, both on Boozer, I think. You are correct. I'm surprised the Fertile hadn't pulled Hannafin. Davis with the rebound. Into Clark. Back to Davis, then Floyd. Sorry, returning Roberts text. Steve right. wanted to know who they want to who they're gonna play. Clark blows right by Hannafy. Looks like he got a piece of that shot. And then Goddage overthrew Ty Craig on the baseline and it went out of bounds. Another turnover for the Falcons. Hey, with our speed and our ball handling capabilities, we're we're getting past them. We're driving to the goal. We've got to make the shots. I mean, how many have we put up and, and, and they're not falling? Yeah, there's been several where we we'll put up shot after shot after shot and just yeah. can't make it. We've got to make those. We're we're doing a great job of getting inside to the basket. Yeah, I think Jakari's last one was partially blocked. Loser, three ball wide, open, no good, all too hard. Davis fighting for the rebound. Clark comes up with it. Floater, no good in the lane. And then uh looks like Emery knocked it out of bounds, so we'll have it under our own goal. So we're getting shots in the paint. We just got to knock them down. Floyd's going to throw it in. Gets it in to rolling. Wide open three. Shot on the way. In and out. No good. Boozer fights for a rebound. Clark gets a loose ball. Dribbles back out. Gives it up to Floyd. Skip pass over to Boozer. Boozer has it. Goddich is on him. Boozer dribbles. Top of the key. Gives it up to Sherman Davis. He's guarded by Ortega. Davis goes to the goal, gets the, the pass rejected by Emery. He gets it ahead to, wow. He gets it ahead to Ingram. Floyd tries to block the shot. Ingram makes the layup, and Ty Floyd gets called for a foul. And Ingram's going to go to the line shooting one. That's our third team foul. And I think it's two on Boozer, one on Ty, right? You're correct. That was a hard foul right there. They both both took the brunt of that one when they hit the ground. 14-12 Falcons. Ingram's free throw. Not, rattles around. Bounces around. Finally comes down. Clark gets the rebound. Boozer quickly ahead to Roland. He's got Emery on him. He drives. Stops in the lane. Dishes out to Clark. Out to Floyd. Back to Boozer. Setting up the offense. Inside to Clark. Back to Boozer on the right side. Boozer's going to dribble. Gives it up to Clark. He takes his man. Over to Roland, wide open in the corner. Three ball is good. Jackets with a 15-14 lead. Tyler Roland with a three. Good ball movement by the Jackets. Yeah, that's that's Roland's first points of the night. Now Emory with the ball. Gives it up to Ortega. They're just passing it back and forth. Skip pass over to Ingram. I said Boozer almost. Probably if he goes for it, he might get a steal. They get it inside to Craig. Davis not tall enough to... Sealed Craig off, and he just lays it in. 16-15 now, Falcon. Rolling and Floyd, passing it back to forth. Rolling drives in. Dribbles down to the right corner, back out to the wing. 
Loser set the screen inside dish to Davis. He scores over Ty Craig, 17-16. We're driving down the lane, and Sherman Davis is wide open, and he's making a living on that low box. Yes, sir. Inside, uh, Goddich missed the, uh, the three-footer in the lane. Rolling with the rebound, gives it to Boozer right down the lane. Late gives it that's up to Davis. Good. Man, that's about three times. And they've that's, just, that's they, three. <laughs> they've given it up to Sherman Davis on that low block. He just lays it in. We see the girls' team. They're heading out now. That was a short stack. <laughs> Coach Clark must have heard you on the radio say they were over here. <laughs> well, it's getting close for them. It's time for them. There's some of them still here. Yeah. Ingram, three ball on the way. Rolls around, goes down. 19-19. We're tied. 2.30 to go. Second quarter. Yeah, got Megan Little and Anna Claire. Some of them still sitting over there. Emma. There's going to be a foul on number two, Eric Ingram, and that's going to put us at the line. And uh, we've been in the bonus for about four and a half minutes, and this is the first time we've shot one. So it's going to be the bonus. It must not have fouled the cone. The oh, that's, that's possession there. That's right. Bonus is working. Hey, they got they got the uh, arrow back to work. So maybe Hammock will be, put that uh, green D up there. <laughs> we'll see it here in a minute. So Jakari Clark is going to be at the line shooting an RW laundry one and one. First shot is up and good. All net. Good shot. Nice free throw by Jakari. 2.25 to go second quarter. Second shot is up and no good. 20 to 19. Jackets lead. Emery with the ball. Brings it across half court. Gives it up to Ingram on the left side. Back to Emery. Over to Bryce Clark. Big man back in. Skip pass all the way over to Ingram. Boozer's going to anticipate one of those in a minute, come up with a steal. Clark inside to Goddard, down low to Craig. Misses the shot, gets his own rebound, misses that shot. Davis with a rebound, gives it up to Boozer. He's off and running with Clark. 2 on 5, they pull it out. Sherman Davis with a wide open three. He knocks it down. Sherman's got the field right now. 23 19. The ball. That's nine points for Sherman Davis so far in this game. Emory, top of the key, 140 to go before halftime. We lead by four, our biggest lead of the night. Sherman's actually got 11. 11. Oh. He had two in the first period. There you go. Missed one of those. He's got four of them down low and a three now. Emory drives in, gives it to Goddard in the lane. He missed sure. a shot. Third, Davis and Boozer fight for it. They tip it out to Dennis Sims, who's in the game. Dennis running the point now. He's going to slow it down. Gives it to Boozer. Boozer tries to drive in. Free throw line stops. Dish to Davis down low. He lost the handle out to Clark. He just dribbled out. And he lost the handle. Get out of from all those big guys. <laughs> so Sherman's a big boy, but uh, he doesn't have the height like they do. Davis has the ball down in the left corner. He gets it back to Boozer. 50 seconds to go. Ty is looking to set a screen. And they come over. Ty on the wing. Gives it up to Sims. Dennis drives in, kicks it back to Boozer. 40 seconds to go. Right, we might just hold it for one. Boozer's going to keep it out there. Boozer takes Goddard to the goal. Back to Sims. Wide open three. Oh, he faked it and he shuffled his feet. Got called for a traveling violation. Yeah, not sure why he didn't shoot that one. That was the exact same spot he was the last time he made that three. That's right. I know they might have been waiting for the last shot, but you get that wide open, you got to go ahead and fake it. Now Muhammad's going to come back in for the Falcons. Now they're uh, Coach Whitley of Fertile Press selling a one shot. All right. <laughs> I know that that clock has a uh, that button on there. I run it for the middle school games, and you'll hit that thing sometimes, and you think it's running, and it's not. And sometimes you think you stop it, and it doesn't. So they're going to reset it to 28 seconds. So, Fertal Prep with the ball, 28 seconds. Four 
we're still in that two three zone it's worked pretty good this first half we lead by four yeah it's definitely working so they're They've got some inside buckets, but it's uh, not a lot. It's been a low-scoring game. Emory has it, top of the key. Back to Ingram. Now they're stepping up the pressure a little bit. Gives it over to Muhammad. Emory with the ball. Back to Muhammad. Actually, yeah, that is Muhammad. Rebound sticks around. The shot is no good. Floyd secures the rebound. That's the end of the first half as the Jackets lead 23-19. Uh, no Coach Clark to die at uh, halftime as he's over there manning the high school gym. So, uh, uh, Brian, we'll take two minutes, come back, talk about this first half, and then take a, a little bit longer break there. So we'll be back in two minutes. Silver Comet Furniture, your one-stop shop for all your furniture and bedding needs. We carry brands such as Ashley, Catnapper, Liberty, and Jameson Mattress Company. That's Silver Comet Furniture, 678-685-4320, 2000 Cedar Town Highway in Fish Creek. Is your thermostat breaking your wallet each month? The reason could be your home is not adequately insulated. Have the experts at TNT Insulation help put money back in your pocket. Call Tim Montgomery today at 770-684-1887 to schedule an inspection. TNT Insulation can handle all your insulation needs, and they specialize in spray foam insulation. Get your bronze on. Visit Totally Bronze Tanning Salon at 254 West Elm Street in Rockmart to get that beautiful bronze look. Totally Bronze Tanning Salon has a very clean and cool facility with a safe, well-lit parking area. For a quick tan, they have sunless spray tanning. Call them today at 770-684-3003 for an appointment or go by 254 West Elm Street in Rockmart. By Low True Value, 308 Nathan Dean Parkway in Rock Mart invites you to come by and watch the inventory grow every day. We're the home of the Garrett Brothers Saw Mill. Our family has been processing and selling our country's greatest renewable resources for over 100 years. Like us on Facebook or give us a call at 770-684-5075. What kind of cake will they serve at your retirement party? Chocolate? Red velvet? Well, go ahead and call the bakery. Because whether you plan to retire in 15 years or 50, a State Farm agent can help you take charge of your retirement and help make it seem like, well, a piece of cake. Sherman Rawls State Farm Insurance, 122 East Elm Street in Rockmart. Call 770-684-3500. Email him at sherman at shermanross.net. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Neither State Farm nor its agents provide tax, legal, or investment advice. Consult your own advisor regarding your particular circumstances. Freeman Harris Funeral Home, the funeral home that has been providing a strong arm for our friends and neighbors to lean on for the past 76 years. We are proud of the young folks of our community and wish for them success on the field and off. Freeman Harris Funeral Home, Rock March very own. Now back to the action of Rock Mart High School basketball here on WZOT. All right, we're back here at Rock Mart Middle School as the first half has concluded, and Rock Mart leads Fertile Prep 23-19. to And all the girls' softball teams over there waving at us, so they're here watching. And uh, Caroline Conring, she's going to come over here. i got to dig this other headset out now. All right, Chris, run, go ahead and run down some totals. Yeah, uh, for Rock Mart right now, leading the scoring drive there, Sherman Davis. Uh, he's got 11. Uh, Duke's got two. Jakar with four. Tyler with three. And Ty Floyd with three. And uh, the leading scorer for um, Fertile is uh, Mohammed. He's only got he's got six. And Ingram has five. So that's their leading two right now. All right. So we got uh, Caroline Conring and Emily Register coming over here to join us right now. As uh, no coach Clark, but even better than that, got some young ladies off the uh, AAA and trying to third place. third place team, four-time region champions. All right, there we go, Carolina. If you'll just pick up that headset there. Well, we had couch talk. That's right. Uh, we they're in softball. So yep. what are we, we, had, doing we had couch talk. talk. Now we got <laughs> Daisy talk. <laughs> <laughs> all right well ladies good to see you see you at all the all the basketball games now that's it y'all have to start coming down joining us some but yeah. uh I, <laughs> emily's like, i'm off trying to give her my head so, 
What? And uh, let's see, Alexis is over there. Macy's over there. Of course, Emma Emma had to get back to the high school to get ready for her game. So, um, well, say say something else, Caroline. Let me make sure you go. All right. All right. Yep. Yeah. Got you. All right. We like to talk trash. Yeah. Alexis said, uh, <laughs> since we don't play, we can like finally talk trash in the sport. That's right. right. That's right. We can talk trash. Yeah, yeah. We can talk trash during ball season. Yeah, yeah. Well, those those things uh, they kind of come back to bite you sometimes. They, but they so. do. <laughs> so, but so t- tell us a little bit since softball's ended, the end of October, kind of been a little bit relaxed now. You yeah. got the you're at the end of the first semester. Uh, so what what's life been after ball? Boring. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Get on so, somewhere. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's the whole him and Alexis things. Alexis is chasing him right now. So, um, but it, it must be being being at the middle school. You around all these. Right. Thank you, sir. So being around them. So, right. but uh, so boring at life boring. after softball, huh? There's nothing to do. I don't. I go home every day, and I'm just like. What's You're probably boring? not even in school a full day. Uh, I am. Are because you? My parents won't let me get a job, <laughs> so I have to stay the full day. And uh, just hang around. I don't do nothing for the last like three periods. But they said my job. Has you didn't hear that, mom. She yeah. now she stays very busy. I, I, mom, I mom's on the mom's thing. on the road right now. <laughs> right. So. Uh, but yeah, it, it's uh, uh, I know with Lexi, uh, she was uh, she would come home. Oh, I just got to the coach Luke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there. Yeah, he is. Li- he listens to all oh. the games. So, but uh. Yeah, it's, I know with Lexi, she gets Tuesday and Thursday. She works Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but Tuesday, Thursday, she goes home. When I get home, she's asleep already. Oh, yeah, it's uh, nice to get some sleep. That so, part's pretty good. So where are you on your college choices right now? Um, I, okay, I applied for Mississippi State and Alabama. I got into both of those. And my number one I'm choice. I'm sorry. <laughs> my number <laughs> one choice. No, my number one choice was Georgia, you know, legacy. Once again. My went there. Yep. And I got accepted, so I'm going to go to UGA. Hey, I'd start something new if I were you. No. <laughs> That's it. That's where I'm going. Well, uh, congratulations. Thank you. If I she had to it. choose between Georgia and Alabama, I'm glad she's going to Georgia. <laughs> now, <laughs> Alexis' team's done torn everything. Alexis has torn everything up I now. Just no. So, uh, so, Emily wants to say yep. something, Coach. All right. Love you, ma'am. Support you. Why did I say that? <laughs> oh Lord, uh, Coach Luke has Emily register your uh, your all region pitcher of the year there. Oh no, oh no. We're, we're at oh, three we minutes. minutes. Yeah, okay. we got three minutes. We're good. Okay. So we, we will have to take a short break. But all right, so yeah, you got accepted at Georgia. Yeah. I know Lexi's going to Valdosta State. Um, Carly going to UT. Carly's going to Tennessee Chattanooga. Um, uh, Kenzie still doesn't know what she wants to do. No. But I know, but I, I do know that she has the opportunity to go, go to Chattahoochee ball. Valley to go yeah. down there and play. Uh, it's a it's a uh, uh, junior you know, college yeah. down in Phoenix City in Alabama, and I was uh, so she's got that opportunity. Uh, Macy, does Macy know what she's going to do? Um, she just got her SAT scores back, and it's enough to go to Kennesaw. So, so hopefully, she, she'll probably end up at either Kennesaw State or. Um, Georgia Southern. Right. Well, good deal. And then uh, Anna, uh, I think she's going to go to Georgia, start out at Georgia Highland. Yes. And uh, all, uh, and then uh, her, <laughs> and my her husband, basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then I and told those and, oh, and then, uh, Emma. Uh, I know Emma, Emma had committed to Reinhardt, but she's got I know some choices she, to make. Yep. So she's got some choices to make there. So uh, all seven of the seniors. Um, you know, not only great on the field, but great off the field. Right. Uh, I know GPAs have never been an issue there. Right. Uh, I know Lexi carries a three eight. I know all of y'all are uh, well above three and a half. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So you, Caroline, sit, Caroline's sitting at about a four three, I think. Right. You know? <laughs> oh, it'd be nice. So, yeah. So, but it's, I mean, and and that's the thing. Uh, their whole career. You know, all, all through school and everything. You got very bright young ladies, and you know, like I say, talented on the field yeah. as well as all. Great student athletes. You know that. Thank both you. Academically and on the field, they've they've done amazing things and, <laughs> and been great to watch. And we look forward to see what they bring back to to the community in years to come. I'm excited. No I'm excited. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, I'm kind of nervous. You know, Athens is uh, pretty well populated. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
It is. <laughs> but, at, at, but at the same time, I mean, what? I mean, three hours. You're not that far away from home. Right. I pretty yeah. much, I know it really well. Uh, I, exactly. Getting yep. into the games with my sisters. Uh, <laughs> there you go. So, We're not talk about that. and uh, uh, but uh, I mean, you know the area, and uh, you know Kristen and Courtney both went down, went there, and uh, so it, it's. Uh, I gotta uh, do better than both of them. Sibling rivalry. There you go. Say. That's it's right. gonna be hard though. Like besides, like I'm a, I'm between biology and biochem, leaning towards biochem to hopefully go to uh, PA school for pediatrics or something. Figure that out. I don't know where it would yeah. kids. Well, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. And and wow. I, I'll tell you the biggest key that I know is i mean just like with lexi she knows she wants to go into athletic training and she knows what she wants to do for the most part all seven of these young ladies have an idea of what they want to do as we're starting this third quarter now and had some fun here at halftime as fertile prep's going to get it to open up but uh pretty much everybody has an idea what they want to do in life right i think that's a that says a lot about our group for sure so and uh i know and everybody's still kind of uh, you know, since softball's over, you, you kind of spread out a little bit, and everybody's kind of gone their own way. But at times, everybody gets back together, and it's yeah, I think you know you, you get to see each other at the basketball games, and y'all yes. sit together. Of course, uh, it, you know that, that's what y'all are talking about. You kind of get to uh, to do some talking up there, then you don't trash. get to. Yeah, that's right. So, it's not, that, that's fun it's stuff. Not. Rolling wide open three, oh. splash twenty six nineteen. And uh, so good shot by Tyler. But, uh, you know, it, it's nice to kind of sit back and relax and just enjoy a game. For sure. Yes. Watch it. It's nice watching competition. I mean, you feel kind of stressed, but uh, hey, Euro's not as got, bad as being in it. Euro Scottish got, got called for the offensive foul down low, him and Boozer uh, banging around down there. He got called for the push. So, so but uh, – yeah, it's it's nice to sit back and relax and watch a game. Wide open to Corey Clark. Oh, he missed it from point blank range. Great pass by Tyler Rowland. The court was wide open and he missed it. I think it might have surprised him. Yeah. Oh, and then we get a break as Hannafy throws it off the hands of Emory out of bounds. So uh, we missed the shot, but we get it right back with a turnover. Boozer gets it to Floyd, gets it to Clark. They break the press easy as Fertile Prep. They've come out in a press this half as uh, we sl- everything was slowed down in the first half. They're trying to pick up the pace. And so, uh, but Caroline, tell us, uh, you know, Christmas plan. School's out now. Today yes, was our last day. Hey, two weeks, no school. Right. Uh, I mean, hey, Got y'all it. had time to catch up on your sleep. It's time yes, to get out and do some things. Lord. It's not, to say the least. Good to relax a little bit. College classes got a little intense there at the end, for sure. I'm sure you heard about it from Lexi. Oh, yes, I did. They're awful. Yep. Oh, great oh. job. Oh, great block by Bryce Clark. Floyd oh. hit Davis, and Bryce Clark just went up. Poozer redirected that shot from Emory, and he picks up the loose ball, and he brings it down the floor. But, oh, yeah, oh, those. Uh, I think she had – two or three college classes, an AP yeah. class. and all, uh, I know last uh, Tuesday she was happy she didn't have to go until like fourth period. Right. Floyd, three, on, two five. hard off the back iron, rebounded by Hannafy, quickly ahead to Ingram. He goes to the right to the goal and lays it in, 26-21. Break it. And got an update from the gym of the first girl, from the high school gym on the first girls game is Hiram. Defeated Sonorville, so they're moving to the finals. Yeah, they were talking that Hiram's got a pretty good, yes, they pretty do. good group this year, and they will play the winner of Rock Martin North Paulding. Uh, that we will get over to as soon as this game's over. With and North Paulding just wore a game uh, Gwinnett out. Oh, Great coach supporter too. Oh coach yeah. Of the year. That's right. Well, we uh, you, you, you know, blue. well, you, you know, they're, they're they've already started that statue. <laughs> Wide open three by Clark, no good. Rebounded by Bryce Clark of Fertile. Yeah, they, him and Coach Parson are in a competition to see who gets the statue first. <laughs> right. So well, Co- yeah, Coach Coach Luke's got that that state championship. So his is 
little uh, bit of a head. His is just, he's got just a he's little bit of a head. He's got a head right now. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, <hey. laughs> With no hair. Both of them. Sorry, Both of them, exactly. No yeah. offense there. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to think that it's, it's the thing. That to be a head coach at Rodmore High School, you got to be bald. Oh, my God. <laughs> Even uh, Coach Law. There you go. Coach yeah, Calhoun, yeah. Coach Clark. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> my mind is, like, blowing right, right now. Uh, well, just, I mean, uh, Caroline's a 4.0, and we still blow her mind. There you go. <laughs> so, shot, turn around by uh, the world is your list. Hey, it's open. <laughs> yeah. Shikari yes, makes it. Fast break. Layup. Shikari makes it. It's 28-21. Four and a half to go. Well, Caroline, it has been great catching up with you, and I uh, hope you have a great two weeks off. Uh, Thank you. I appreciate I'm, it. Like I said, y'all have had some rest. I know uh, Lexi's looking forward to baseball. Yeah. Uh, Can't wait for baseball. So we'll be there. But we got to finish up this basketball with the boys and girls. Hurtall Preps, they had four shots inside. Bryce Clark finally uh, they finally puts it in, and it's 28-23. But, uh, Caroline, uh, stay, with, stay with all those girls. Y'all yeah. battle them. Yeah. Uh, get up there, do all the yelling you want. Really doesn't yeah, matter. Fills your wide open three, Whoa. air ball out of bounds. Uh, but tell everybody we said hi, Macy and Alexis. They done pulled up a chair next to Hammock, so they're gonna harass him the rest <laughs> of the day. Should be interesting. All right, ma'am. Well, thank you very thank you much, for me. and uh, come join us anytime down at the table. Yes, sir. We'll do. All right, thank <laughs> you, Caroline. All right, good to see. Good to see her. And oh yeah, all those young ladies up with our. Uh, our first loves, which is That's softball. That's right. That's <laughs> right. I enjoyed doing the basketball, but softball, I've, I've been around it since uh, a long time. Emory right down the line. Oh, nice by Hoover. Hoover. Rolling in Hannafee. Five four. Hannafee gets it in the backcourt. They get it down Florida Ingram. Still by Boozer. Rolling's ahead. He's taking it to the goal. Fakes Bryce Clark. Misses the shot, and Clark with the rebound. He should have backed that one back out. Boozer was out right behind him. Now we're going to get a 30-second timeout by the Falcons. So 3.07 to go. Game, I believe. 3.07 to go third quarter. Jackets lead 28-23. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Hey, Jacket fans. This is your old buddy Bill Shervsey, general manager of All-Star Motors here in Rockmart. At All-Star, we offer late model pre-owned vehicles with guaranteed credit approval. Come drive your new pre-owned vehicle home today. That's right, today. Visit our web at www.allstarmotorco.com. We have that unforgettable phone number, 770-684-CARS. Remember, All-Star Motors, where every day is an all-star day and go Jackets. Now back to the action of Rockmart High School basketball here on WZOT. Same as here. So they got a boy. All right, we're back as Fertile Prep has the ball. Emory has it, top of the key. Gives it up to Ortega on the right side. Rockmart moving left to right now in this second half. Hannafee fakes a three, goes around Floyd in the air, misses the shot. Boozer with a rebound. Loose ball picked up by Sherman Davis. And What's the call? Double. Timeout. Oh, yeah. Coach Calhoun got a timeout. Sherman got caught. Was going to get double teamed, and Coach Calhoun very wide. Double team with the ball. You know, it was he was dribbling at his ankle top. So <laughs> yeah, he was doing a little bit of a Harlem Globetrotter there. So, all right, thirty second timeout. We'll be right back. A plus store solutions is your local Weaver's Portable Building and R and B Metal Structures dealer in Rock Mart. We also sell dog kennels and a variety of trailers, including dump trailers. Get your portable building faster at A Plus Store Solutions. We are located just a half mile south of Rockmore High School on Highway 113. Stop by and see Jim or give us a call at 678-883-2006. Now more of Rockmart High School basketball here on WZOT. <laughs> oh, we'll need it in a minute. Back at the middle school as Floyd gets it into Clark on the backcourt. Rodmar with the ball and the lead, 28-23. They led by four at halftime. They've extended it out to five. Two and a half to go, third quarter. Boozer hits rolling right in the shins as he rolling gets the ball. Gives it inside to Boozer, makes a move. 
Shot too hard. Tipped back by Furtall. Wide open three by Floyd. No good back iron. Boozer went in. Skied for it. That's going to be. I think she said it hit the cable. She said it hit the cable up top. I didn't see it. Cable doesn't appear to be moving. Wow. I thought it bounced. It went straight up off the rim. Ah, that cable's way on up there to get hit. Yeah, and it's not moving. <laughs> so tough break. Boozer come crashing in, getting trying to get the offensive rebound. Bryce Clark has it in at the free throw line. Gives it up. Emory top of the key. Inside the Clark. Davis has him, bodies him up. That's gonna be a foul on Sherman Davis as he moved up under Clark when he went for the shot. And not a whole lot Sherman can do as Bryce Clark has a, probably about six inches on him. Yeah, he's a big kid. So two subs coming in for the Falcons. As it's going to be Muhammad and Craig. Bryce Clark has the line shooting two. First shot is good. 28-24, 1.59 to go third quarter. Second shot is good, 28-25. Hurt prep, hurt off prep in a press. We beat it, get it all the way down the floor to Davis. He gives it up to Rowland, slows it down, setting up the offense. They give it to Boozer. Right around half court. Emory is on him. Hurt off prep in a man. Boozer trying to take his man to the goal, gives it up. Clark, step, Clark, uh, nice save by the boys. We the end up in the bleachers. Can't do that at, our, at the high school. No. Great he ended save. up about five rows up. Great save by Ty. Rolling with the ball. Gives it up to Clark. He's on the right side. Guarded by Hannafee. Ty Floyd, top of the key. Gives it up to Tyler Rowland. Sherman Davis, Boozer, and Clark on the floor. Clark wide open. Gives it to Floyd on the wing. Three ball on the way. No good. Clark with the follow. And it's good. 30 to 25. One minute to go. Third quarter. Good job by Jakar right there following that shot and taking it straight back up to the basket. Emory with the ball, gets it inside to Bryce Clark. Hook shot, no good, comes up short. He went over the top of Davis and got the rebound and then put it in, 30-27. to 27. 50 seconds to go. Boozer breaks the press, gets it to Davis. Wide open three, shots on the way. It's good! 33-27. Sherman Davis keeps that hot hand. Yeah, you leave him out there open, he's going to knock it down. I think that's 14 for him now. You're correct. Hannafee has it, gets it inside to Craig. Dribbles to the other side of the lane, gives it up to Ortega, knocks out of bounds by Boozer. 26.8 seconds to go. Jackets lead by six. Had a four-point lead at halftime. So joined now by principal here at the middle school, Chris Lovelace. Got a headset for him. He's like everybody else. Yeah, they're all yep. good. They're <laughs> all good. Everybody's always good. So, so thank you, Coach Luke. Sounds real good from the middle school. You don't have that, that background noise. Yeah. Plus, you get up here on the stage away from everybody. Yeah, and the high school, you, you're dealing with people in your ear. Or take a three ball in and out, no good. Rebounded by Boozer. Got Eight shoot. seconds. Got to shoot. Got it. Oh, he threw it. tried to get it down. All he had to do is dribble up. Clark almost a steal. Hannafy six footer is good, and time's gonna run out. And we're gonna keep that four point lead, but could have had more if he dribbles it down the floor. And first off, prep the Falcons get a steal and score. It's thirty three twenty nine into three. We'll be back in sixty seconds. Our kitchen is where our life happens. It wasn't always perfect, but now it is, thanks to a home equity line of credit from family. Use the equity in your house to love your home with Family Savings Credit Union. Visit FamilySavingsCU.com. This is Ryan Robinson, branch manager of your local Family Savings Credit Union. Come by and visit us sometime, 101 Felton Drive, Rockmark, Georgia, 770-684-8601. Equal housing opportunity, member NCUA, NMLS number 800746. Here's a real tweet from a real Chick-fil-A guest. Meredith writes, Am I the only person who didn't know Chick-fil-A had mac and cheese? Holy game changer. The secret's out now, Meredith. 
Is there anything you think the world should know about our mac and cheese? What I really like about the mac and cheese is the oven toasted golden brown cheesy top layer. It's savory and it makes you feel really good. That does sound amazing. Thanks, Meredith. Try the mac and cheese yourself at your local Chick-fil-A. Real Chick-fil-A guests paid for their testimonial. Now more of Rock Martin High School basketball here on WZOT. All right, back to start the fourth quarter. Jack is get with the ball. Moves are with it. Playing here at the middle school as both of these things uh, went down last night. So these loser bracket games over here. Winner will play at 1 o'clock tomorrow. I think Clark at the free throw line. The shot comes up short. Actually, the winner plays at 2.30 at the high school tomorrow. Loser will play at 11.30. Jackets lead by four. Craig drives baseline, gets cut off, gives it up to uh, gives it up to Muhammad, kicks it out to Emory. Three ball, no good. Hannafy in the corner, gives it up to Emory. Emory drives in, spin moving the lane, loses the ball. Sherman Davis with a steal. He gives it up to Boozer. Emory picks him up in the backcourt. Boozer beats him down, gets it across the half court. We're in our in on our side of the floor, moving left to right. Sherman Davis with the ball on the wing. Jackets four-point lead. Already played a minute here in this first fourth quarter. Boozer goes to the hole, and it's knocked out of bounds by Mohammed. Ty Floyd is going to throw it in. He gets it in to Boozer. Over Emory. Clark. Then rolling. Really about the same five. Played about the whole game here yep. for the Jackets. Sherman Davis, three ball, no good. Rebounded by Craig. Gets it ahead to Emory. They're off and running. Lob out off the hands of Bryce Clark. A little bit too high. Yeah, Dennis Sims came in for a very short while, and that's been the only sub for right now. So, Cody Williams with a big night from three-point land last night. Yeah, We've not is. seen him, not seen Luke Nola. Sherman Davis with the ball, but... A little bit different team what you're playing tonight. So you got to match up. And uh, Fertile Prep is a big team, and we've played that 2 3 zone almost to perfection. Boozer dribbles it off his foot, picks it up, three ball by Rowan, no good. Hannafy jumps over Davis, gets a rebound. And now we pressure him in the backcourt. They get it to Emory across. Emory goes right down, knocked away by Boozer. He saves it to uh, Mohammed. To Hannafy, back to Muhammad, three ball, in and out, rattles around, goes down. 33-32, 5.50 to go. Pressed by the Falcons. They beat it. Give, Floyd gives it up to Rowan, over to Clark. He drives in, no good. Rebounded by Craig. 5.35 to go. Now the crowd's starting to get into it here in this fourth quarter. Emory with the ball. Gets it to Muhammad. Back to Emory. Over to Hannafy on the right side. Emory's at the key. Hannafy and Muhammad are on the wings. Bryce Clark sets the screen. They miss that knee as he needs Jakari Clark. Three ball by Hannafy. No good. That's going to be a foul on Tyler Rowland. Wow. So. All right, Jamie Ortega is going to come in as Bryce Clark asked to go out. He needs a little bit of a breather. Roland, Floyd, Davis, Boozer, and Jakari Clark on the floor for the Jackets. They get it into Ortega. Well, six foot jumper is good. And Falcons with a lead 34 33. And it's been a while since they had that. Boozer throws it ahead to Roland. He runs it down in the corner. He's going to dribble all the way back out. And set up the offense. Falcons in a man. Rowland takes his man, Hannafy, dribbles to the left, goes baseline, and loses the ball as he got pushed out of bounds. Hannafy with a steal. He goes right down the lane, finger roll, and rolls around, goes down. 37, 36, 33 now. Might not be a bad idea, Coach Calhoun. Goes no, 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 we get it across the half. Rolling with it. Jakari Clark, wide open three on the way. Looks good, and it is! 36, 36. Calhoun wanted a timeout after the missed shot, and the official late responding to it. 4.15 to go. 
Hannafy has it, gets it down low to Craig, fakes the shot, goes baseline. Steal by Boozer. Emory gets around Emory at half court, takes it in, loses it. That's going to be a foul on Mo Hannafy. I think that's his fourth, number 20. Yeah, they did. It is his fourth. But we get the ball under our own goal, 4-0-4 to go in the game. Tied at 36. Floyd gets it in. Tyler Rowland wide open three. And no good. Rebounded by Hannafy. He gets it to Emory. Craig streaking down the floor. They missed him. Get it to him in on the baseline. Gives it up to Ortega. Back to Hannafy. Mohammed deep three. And it's good. All best. Great. Good shot. Looking shot by Yasso Mohammed. Yeah, he, he's a shooter. 39-36. Tyler Rowland with the ball. Gives it up to Davis. Back to Rowland. Muhammad went for a steal, didn't get it. As they're in that man, and he is very active. Yeah, Rolling with it. Right Rolling has That's going to be a timeout, Coach Calhoun. 30-second timeout. 3.29 to go in the game. Falcons lead 39-36. We'll be back right after this. Lewis Motor Company is the oldest car dealership in Rockmart. They have been serving Rockmart and the Polk County area for 56 years, providing quality used cars and great customer service before, during, and after the sale. Lewis Motor Company is proud to offer guaranteed credit approval while you wait. Give them a call today at 770-684-6694 or stop by and see our staff at Lewis Motor Company, 218 South Piedmont Avenue in Rockmart. You're listening to Rockmart High School Basketball here on WZOT, 101.9 FM, AM 1220. All right, we're back at Rodmar Middle School, 329 to go, fourth quarter, 39-36, Falcons lead. Rodmar has the ball on the side. Got a little water spill in front of the Jackets bench. I'm going to clean that up. want to remind you, stick with us. We're going to go off the air so Chris and I can load everything up, swap from the middle school to the high school to bring you the girls' game as soon as we can. So don't go too far. Uh, hopefully we'll start at 7 o'clock. depends on what's going on over there. Maybe that second game is going long again tonight. Boozer with the ball. He goes right to the goal, passes out. That's going to be a foul on Emory, number 10, and that is their fourth team foul. Now Bryce Clark, big man, is going to come back in as Ortega goes out. Floyd's throwing it in. Looking for a man. Oh, Rowland comes right down. Fakes off Clark. Oh, and this is the two-footer as he went around. Bryce Clark got him in the air. And, Made a great move. Yeah, and instead of staying on the left side of goal, tried to come back to the right, and I think that might have cost him the layup. Three minutes to go. We trail by three. Emory with the ball. Gives it up to Muhammad. They're going to slow things down, take, take a little air out of the ball, take some time off the clock. Emory has it, gets it inside to Bryce Clark. Boozer cuts him off. Good job. He has to push it out of Hannafy. Emory with with it. Clark's on him. Gives it up to Hannafy. Muhammad comes in. Gets the pass. He dribbles. Trying to keep it off that five count. Craig hands it off to Emory. We've only got two team fouls, so we're a long way from them getting in the bonus. That's why I like the shot clock. Yep. Hannafy has it down on the baseline. He gets Floyd in the air, and he goes up with a shot. Ty's going to get a foul. As he head fake, got Ty in the air, and then Ty's going to pick up a foul. I mean, we're in good shape. We got nobody with over two fouls. But... So moving to the uh, boys' side of the bracket, Cedartown defeats Bremen. So they are done at the rec center. So the winner of this game will get Cedartown at 2.30 tomorrow. The loser gets Bremen at 11.30. Now Mo Hannafy at the line shooting two. First shot was good. Second shot is good as well. 41-36, 2.11 to go in the game. And they've come out in this second half in the press and given us a little bit of a feel. We get we break it pretty easy, but then we're just not scoring. No, we we just can't get it to fall. 
Floyd has it, gives it up to Boozer. Boozer with it, goes right in the lane, kicks it out to Clark, wide open three is up, no good. Hannafy with a rebound. That's the other part. Their size is really hurting us on the boards. Mohammed has it. We double team him. Kick it down in the corner to Bryce Clark. Got a little four corners going as Hannafy gets it in the lane. Turns, shoots, no good. Rebounded by Floyd. Where's the foul on that one? He hit him in the head. Loser with the ball. Gets it to Rowland. Gives it up to Floyd. Had to pick up his dribble. Gives it up to Davis. We got to get out of that corner. We got too many people over there. Rowland with the ball. Hannafy hammered him across the arm. No call. Boozer with the ball. Gets it to Davis. Back to Boozer. Rowland fakes a three. Goes down the lane. Three ball by Boozer. No good. It's short. Rebounded by Emery. One, one minute to go. And Fertile Prep is going to take a 60-second timeout. 103 to go in the game. Falcons lead 41-36. We'll be back in 60 seconds. At Century Bank of Georgia's Rock Mart office, you'll find the reassuring blend of responsive personal service with a wide array of accounts, technologies, loans, and more. And you'll find each delivered by a bank professional whose goal is to exceed your expectations of what a bank can be. We invite you to discover all we are today. Your local choice for community banking. Go Jackets. Century Bank of Georgia. Rock Mart. We want to be your bank. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Who has time for laundry? R&W's Laundry, the cleanest laundromat in northwest Georgia, is a full-service, seven days a week laundromat with state-of-the-art washers and dryers. Don't want to wash? Let our friendly staff do it for you. Ball teams, churches, restaurants, and even wedding services are welcome to come to R&W's Laundry. Proud sponsor of Jacket Basketball, located at 804 West Elm Street, Rockmark, and Go Jackets. Now, back to the action of Rockmart High School basketball here on WZOT. All right, we're back here at Rockmart Middle School as uh, the Falcons of Fertile Prep lead the Jackets 41 36. 103 to go in the game. Hannafy's throwing it in, and he's looking, looking, can't get it in, and there's a whistle. No idea what's timeout. going on. All right, it's going to be a timeout, Falcons. Yeah. And 30-second timeout. So, 103 to go as the Falcons could not get it in. Good defense. So, 30 seconds. We'll be right back. Is your thermostat breaking your wallet each month? The reason could be your home is not adequately insulated. Have the experts at TNT Insulation help put money back in your pocket. Call Tim Montgomery today at 770-684-1887 to schedule an inspection. TNT Insulation can handle all your insulation needs. And they specialize in spray foam insulation. I'm Barry Williams, Athletic Director at Rockmore High School, and I would like to thank our Booster Club, sponsors, and community for supporting Rockmore High School Athletics. Go Jackets! Now, more of Rockmore High School basketball here on WZOT. All right, we're back as the Falcons get the ball in the backcourt to Emory, and he drives down the lane, gets in a foul on Tyler Rowland. That is 14 fouls for each team now as the Falcons lead 41-36. Emory with the ball. Jakari Clark reaches in. Foul. we got to do a lot of fouling before they're going to be able to shoot free throws. That's five now, so still two more before they shoot. We only had two fouls when this whole thing started. Now we're at five. And we're not in foul trouble, so that's a good thing. They get it into Craig underneath. And Ty's got a foul him, and he reaches in, and he does. That's six. So now the next one, the Falcons will be in the bonus. Yeah, that's Ty's third. Yeah. And well, the uh, Mo, Mo Hannafy, he, he's wondering why we're not shooting. Hey, that's only six. He looked at the scoreboard like and raised his hands. Like, when are we going to shoot? <laughs> they finally get it in. Oh, oh and it's, Emory loses it, but he picks it up in the backcourt. And that's a backcourt violation. The official right on the on the half court, Coach Calhoun was jumping up and down, and he wanted it. And that's a turnover by the Falcons, a backcourt violation. We'll get it at half court. 48 seconds to go, 41-36. Falcons lead. Floyd's going to inbound it. And he rolls it right to Boozer. Boozer has it, brings it across half court. we got to score quick, and we got to score early. Floyd with the ball, gets it to Boozer. They're looking, looking. 
Gets it to Floyd. Three ball on the way. No good too hard. Rebound. That should be a jump ball. And it's going to go to first off prep. Yeah. The clock's still running. Oh. 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 And about eight seconds ran and off the clock. Time ran off the clock. Thirty-seven seconds. Thirty-seven. So eleven seconds ran off. Hammock, one track mind there. Hey, which way is it going? He forgot to stop the clock. Oh, he's blaming it on Alexis Teams. There we go. It's all teams' fault. And if he gets it in, Emory trips. Gets the ball. That's a Where's traveling the traveling? violation. Yep, there we go. The official, the furthest away, has to call traveling. 35 seconds to go. Yeah, I'm sorry. Got a little loud there in the radio, but goodness. <laughs> We're way over here and we can see it. Yeah. The official was right on top of him, and Jason had to come from the back backcourt to make the call. Yep. 41 36. So we got to hit a shot here. It doesn't. We can even be a two. Floyd gets it in to Boozer. They double team. Wow, that's not a foul. As uh, Muhammad knocked him down, and he grabbed him right there. That's five. That's five team fouls on Fertile Prep. So the Falcons are in the bonus. We're gonna have on the Cody Williams three point threat coming in. Sherman Davis is going to go out. Sherman's been knocking them down, but Cody, and yeah, he's, Cody's he's got been that, sitting for yeah, four he's got periods. that quick release, too. Rolling with the ball. Gets it into Floyd. Floyd back to We're rolling. Playing like we've got a lot of time left. Williams, three ball on the way. No good. And Cody gets his own, gets the shot. Floyd, wide open three. No good too hard. We just need a two. That's going to be a... That's our that's ball. Gonna, yeah, that's a jump ball. Rodmar's going to get it. 13.6 seconds I'm to go. I'm not sure why we were playing like three was going to tie it up. I mean, we, yeah, all we got, needed was a shot inside right there, and we're swinging the ball all around the perimeter. All right, Coach Calhoun's going to get a timeout, and I think he's used both three. They got some perspiration on the floor, so they're going to clean that up. But Coach Calhoun takes a 60-second timeout. 13.6 seconds to go. The Jackets trail by five. We'll be back after this. Tilly's Home Furnishings invites you to stop by their showroom. It is filled with furniture lines like Ashley, United, Lane, Simmons, with new merchandise arriving every day. They have prepaid cell phones, Total Wireless, and Page Plus, new and used appliances, mattress sets, living room furniture, dinette sets, U-Haul rentals. Come by and see Randall for the best deals in propane. And Stanley, he don't like standing around. So make sure you keep him busy. And be sure to let Scooter fix you up with furniture and appliance deals. They have mattress specials every week. Tilly's Home Furnishings, located at 966 here on the highway, Rock Mart. We are open Monday and Tuesday from 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. Wednesday, 8 a.m. till 12 p.m. Thursday and Friday from 8 a.m. till 5.30 p.m. Saturdays, 8 a.m. till 1.30 p.m. Close on Sundays. Give them a call, 770-684-5314. Or visit them on their new Facebook page, Tilly's Home Furnishings. Now, more of Rockmart High School basketball here on WZOT. All right, we're back. Floyd throwing it in. Gets it into Clark right underneath the goal. He missed. Hanafee with a rebound. And we're going to foul him. And it's either going to be on Boozer or Roland. But Hanafee's going to go through the line shooting one and one, nine seconds to go. Start on Boozer. 41-36. So we just could not put it in from point blank range several times tonight. And that's really what's cost us the game. If we had an opportunity. We should have scored 60. I mean, easily. As many as many balls as we put up that's been in and around the basket. I mean, it, we should have at least scored 60 tonight. All right. Just remember, as soon as this game's over, we're going to take everything down as Hannafee knocks down the first. It's a six-point lead now. And we're going to get right over to the – high school as the girls start at seven we should be there in time get set up and be able to catch the uh the opening tip and second shot no good floyd with a rebound got to push it up the floor quickly eight seven deep three by boozer is good and timeout calhoun 3.6 seconds to go it's 42 39 so we still got a shot so you tell me there's a chance yeah. <laughs> Man, he 
he threw that one up from probably about six foot in front of half court. Wow. All right. Uh, 30 second timeout. We'll be right back. Are you aware that untreated wood is highly susceptible to termite damage? Are you bothered by other pesky insects like bed bugs, ants, roaches, wasps, and hornets? Call Harrelson Termite and Pest Control for an inspection. They have the experience to handle your pest control needs. Call Harrelson Termite and Pest Control today to schedule an appointment. You're listening to Rock Martin High School Basketball here on WZOT, 101.9 FM, AM 1220. <coughs> Six seconds to go. 42-39. Boozer just hit a three-pointer from about 30 feet away. And that's his first points from the field. Hannafee's going to throw it in. We need a steal and a three-pointer. They get it in to uh, Ortega. Boozer didn't foul him. Boozer let him go right by. I think he, he wanted to foul, and the official didn't call it. So 42-39 is our final. The Jackets will play at 11.30 tomorrow. And they play the, uh, they will play Bremen. Yeah, we can run it down for them. So they will, they will play Bremen tomorrow. So the Jackets play Bremen at 11:30. We'll run everything down as soon as we get to the high school, and probably at halftime we'll get to talk to Coach Calhoun and get all that. So uh, we're gonna kick it back to Brian. He's gonna do that. We're gonna get there as soon as we can and get you the tip of the girls' game as they are taking on North Paulding. Silver Comet Furniture, your one-stop shop for all your furniture and bedding needs. We carry brands such as Ashley, Catnapper, Liberty, and Jamison Mattress Company. That's Silver Comet Furniture, 678-685-4320, 2000 Cedartown Highway in Fish Creek. 